Thanks, I'll be brief. Um, on the EU-US uh, trade agreement, sorry, I forgot to, to deal with that. Um, in my opinion, there's a big question over whether it'll become an agreement. I think there'll be a lot of negotiations um, and a lot of, there's a lot of potential sticking points that means it might not uh, get there. Um, I'd be opposed to the agreement that is likely to come out of it. Uh, I think uh, so there's huge... You an agreement that you don't know? Because, I, I, because I, there is no agreement. Okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to explain. I, I said I, I'm likely to oppose the, the, what I think is the outlines of, of an agreement. Um, I think you'll have questions over the uh, entry of GM foods into Europe is clearly a major issue for uh, big farmers within the US. Uh, there's other so-called uh, like food practice processes whereby the way that chickens, livestock are washed um, in chlorine, etc., it will be a major issue. <laughs> More fundamentally, I think it's likely that uh, such a free trade agreement would be used, like NAFTA in you know, America, US, Canada, uh, Mexico is used, to undermine pre-existing environmental labour legislation. Like at the moment there's a case being taken by US corporation against Canada for imposing restrictions on fracking because they say it, it, it denies their rights as investors. They'll set up investor state dispute settlement mechanisms which gives investors big business primarily, a special access uh, beyond normal courts uh, to justice. Um, so I think there's a whole load of, of problems with it, or, or likely to be, and I think it's, it's likely to be used to try and set US workers and workers in Europe against each other in a certain uh, race to the bottom. Um, I'm going to give a presentation to the Shannad about that in a couple of months' time, if you're interested. Um, I, I have more th thorough thoughts at that stage. The second point um, is just to well, cl clarify on the point about the trade union movement. I don't know where Deputy Byrne got the idea that I was contemptuous for the trade union movement. Because I have you've demanded a general strike, and uh, they don't support a general strike. So everybody who doesn't support a general strike is a trade union official, or trade unionist is stupid or something, you know? Right. Contempt, that's called contempt. Right, okay. So, who so, don't abide by your demands for general so strike. So if, if you're in favour of something and other people aren't, you, you hold them in contempt, okay. I, I didn't understand that was what contempt meant, sorry, um, Deputy. But I, I have absolute respect for ordinary trade unionists who I think uh, you know, have suffered massively as an impact as a result of the crisis but also have the power to resist austerity. Uh, I don't have respect for a number of the trade union leaders who are on huge salaries, who are members of your party, who I th think have betrayed uh, the interests of their members and I think it's a question for those trade union members to struggle. I, with respect, I'm going to have to ask you just to... Fine. Uh, uh, withdraw that kind of language. I mean, those people. Political, are, political uh, uh, fine. You know, I withdraw the, the trade. Just, that kind fine. of language because they're not here. No, no. And, and this is an issue for the trade to, union movement. If they, but the, to, if they were here to respond back to what you said, I'd allow it. But that's, that's fine. Consider the word betrayed withdrawn. Yeah, but I, the key point is, this, this is, it's an issue for people in the trade union movement. There's going to be a battle within the trade union movement between people who are opposed to the Croke Part 2 agreement and those who are in favour, which is primarily sections of the leadership are in favour. And in that debate, who am I on the side of? I'm in favour of those who are against the Croke Park agreement, who see it as an attack, yet another attack on public sector workers' wages. Um, I'll leave it at that. Thanks. I have enjoyed the debate.